Good day, everybody. Um, today we're going to do lesson plan number 12, grade 4, term 2. Um, the topic is compare and order lengths. Um, it's the link to worksheet 40 in your DBE book. Um, then here is the link to the caps. Um, what we then have here is the resources that you need to prepare for, um, some interesting facts on did you know and quotes. Remember also to tell these or give these to the learners in a fun way so they start to understand and love maths. Then your dictionary is um, estimation and comparing. Remember always, we estimate, we guess the length, and then we always compare that um, by measuring what we estimated. Very, very important skill. Okay, so let's go to today's mental maths activity. Um, you're going to pause. Um, it, we focus on the five and the six times table. You're quickly going to ask these 10 questions then. Pause, come back and check the answers. Welcome back. You can pause again and quickly check the answers. Let's then carry on with the lesson. So we're going to compare and order lengths. So um, in this activity, it's going to be a practical activity again, um, where you're going to give the learner certain things, and then what they must say, do we measure it in millimeters, meters, centimeters, or kilometers? So for instance, millimeter examples that you can give them is like a pencil, a book, a razor. Um, centimeters can be also a book length of the desk height of the desk. Um, mix these when you ask them. Then meters, the length and width and height of a desk, length, width and height of the classroom, the height of the classroom door. Um, yeah, what you can do is you can replace the classroom examples with examples um, at your home. Then what we can do distances from home to school or home to a shop. Um, then from maybe two cities, Joburg to Cape Town. So ask these ones um, to the learners. Um, try to ask them randomly. Um, so it's time to pause and do this introduction activity. Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to do today is we're going to compare the length of two objects. So in this case, we have two pencils. So we're going to measure them. So this... Um, Pencil measures 11 centimeters, and this one 7 centimeters and 5 millimeters. So what are we going to do to find the difference between them? Um, what's also very nice is before you give or you measure them, you can just estimate the length as well. So what we have is we have 11 centimeters uh, minus 7 centimeters and 5 millimeters. So we're first going to subtract the centimeters. So 11 centimeters minus 7 centimeters will give me 4 centimeters. And when I subtract the 5 millimeters, it gives me 3 centimeters and 5 millimeters. If the learners struggle with this concept, do it on a ruler. So they can see why, how did we get from 4 centimeters minus 5 millimeters equals to 3 centimeters and 5 millimeters. So you can see here in the speech bubble again, I put emphasis on do the calculation with learners pointing at the ruler to say they understand where the five millimeters coming from. I want you to pause and do this activity with the objects that you have available. Let's then, the next step is then going to be the worksheet. So you're going to do the worksheet. Um, firstly, we start with the abbreviations. Um, then we go to give examples of objects that we measure in millimeters, meters, centimeters, and kilometers. Um, and then you're going to do a practical activity. Um, if you don't have some of these things, you can replace them with whatever you have available. Then we're going to do the problem solving. Remember, this extra activity is an example that typically comes from an old exam or test paper. So pause here, work through them. And then with the consolidation, if you have all yeses, 
you're going to carry on with the next lesson. If you've got some no's, um, you're going to repeat, revise certain questions, activities, or you contact us at SA Teacher. Thank you.